Hi, this is Father Rocky in the beautiful new chapel of the Proclamation in Lincolnshire, Illinois, the headquarters of Relevant Radio. And today we have another story about the Holy Eucharist and our ongoing Eucharistic encounters as we prepare for the National Eucharistic Congress in Indianapolis, July 17th through 21st. Today I want to share with you another gem, a hidden gem in the church's liturgy, which was composed by St. Thomas Aquinas in the middle of the 13th century, 1264, for the feast day of Corpus Christi. And today I want to tell you about Eucharistic hymns that he composed for the divine office. What's the divine office? It's prayers and hymns that every priest, religious, and consecrated person is obliged to pray or recite on a daily basis every year. If you do it by yourself, it takes about an hour, but you split it up into six to eight parts during the day. And this one is called the Tantum Ergo. You've probably heard it before. Tantum Ergo Sacramentum Fane remor cernui, her antiquum documentum, no voce dat ritui, prestet fide supplementum, sensuum defectui. That's the Latin part. One of the reasons I like Latin is it never changes, and I don't need a book to read from it. English, you gotta be careful with the translation. In English, it goes like this. Down in adoration falling, Lo, the sacred host we hail. Lo, our ancient forms departing. Newer rites of grace prevail. Faith for all defects applying. Where the feeble senses fail. Think about it. Read about it. What does it mean down in adoration falling? Literally, it means getting down on both knees and bowing. Why do we do this? Because we're creatures God is the creator. We're humbling ourselves. And we're now down on both knees, bending in adoration. That is a physical representation of vulnerability. That's good for us as human beings. All right, so down in adoration, falling. Now, I know if you're older and you got bad knees, you can't do it. But if you're younger and your knees are okay, you can do it. But I want you to discover this hymn for yourself on the relevant radio app. Read it in Latin, read it in English, think about it. It'll be great for your faith. Well, let's all show up for Jesus at the National Eucharist Congress in Indianapolis, July 17th through 21st. Everyone from Relo Radio is going to be there. It's going to be something else. Go to relevantradio.com slash Indy to find out all about it and to sign up there. Let's all show up for Jesus. Jesus.